There we go. Let's do some puzzles. Sure, let's do a tutorial. Why not? So this is a solved puzzle. Let's hit the green arrow. Watch the ball roll. Kicks the hamster. Starts the conveyor belt. Punches the punch glove. The bowling ball. Activates this apparatus. Lets the trap door. Uh, which makes the cat run away. And the mouse goes over here. Meanwhile, the blimp hits the scissors. The scissors cut the cage. The cage falls onto the mouse, thereby caging it. Good old puzzle games. So, yeah, you can record your solution, or you could look at the official solution, but this one happened to be solved before we looked at it. Alright. This is a not solved puzzle. The goal of the puzzle is to catch the mouse eating the cheese in the bin. So, just, this is a tutorial, so we just follow its advice, drop the scissors in place, and start the simulation. Sure, why not? We'll just say this is Mouse Trap. Alright, next puzzle. Yeah, no. The reason I happen to be kind of good at this is that it very much resembles a go old MS DOS game. Um, so, some of these puzzles. Uh, are pretty familiar. Forgot that's. I need the super ball or bouncy ball. Um, couldn't discern that from the basketball, but basically the super ball bounces higher with every bounce. The objective was to knock the eight ball off the screen. Uh, use belts to transfer rotational energy. Huh. It definitely hooks up a lot easier than pieces from the original game. You can just drag and drop to make things work. Uh, so what was the answer to this one? Is it that I need like two gears here and then I need... Uh, oh, I get it. So I've got to activate everything, because why not? You're able to move some of the parts around for these puzzles, but other parts are fixed in place. Um, so there's a lot of fun here. Follow us on Twitter. Maybe next time. Oh, I see. This is where the objective's listed. Uh, there's no paragraphs of text anymore. It's just the objective. Turn on the catamatic, which we see it's got this plug. Totally not plugged in. Oh, nice. Um, sure, let's try that. Oh. Let's see, does this have any attributes? I got, huh. Okay, so that's a tutorial for the part. And yeah, that's, um, apparently I had to flip the switch in order to be able to flip it. Uh, sorry if I'm flipping through these puzzles a little bit quickly. Uh, I want to get to the interesting stuff soon. Well, that's cool. So yeah, here you set up a lever, and you're trying to get all the soccer balls into the white box here. Um, so, if I remember right, how did this work? I mean, one end of the rope's got to go there. Uh, where'd the other... Oh, right. Okay. There's the other end. Uh, let's try that. Does that work? Ah, close enough. Let's take a look at the official solution. Wait, how's that work? Is this just tied 
to the pulley to this one over here. And I just completely ignored this uh, seesaw. Okay, oh, wait, what's the objective again? Uh, it's gotta be get the balloon off the screen. So that's just what happens by default. Um, I'm gonna assume the other part of the objective is get this kettle thing, I don't know, off the screen. Nice. The official solution is the same darn thing. Put both cannonballs into the box. Okay. Well, let's plug in a motor. You can flip the motor to change its direction, so we'll do that. Uh, connect the belt. We've got a wire in it. Oh, okay. That seems like a logical place to hook up the wire. And... Nice. I'm curious, does this game have any good music? Um, do I get to choose the music, or am I stuck with whatever the default is? I think I'm stuck. Here, let's turn the music down a bit. Turn out the game sound. That way you can actually hear the gameplay. Um, so to get this working, we're going to need to have a generator uh, to power our motor. However, the generator itself needs a belt to power it. Um, like so. Use ropes to stop the boxes from smashing the houses. Okay, this is new. I've not seen this one before. So, use ropes to stop... Okay, well, I guess I could use ropes to support this platform here, right? I hook up the rope like this, just to be silly? I think I can. Yeah. Why go the... Oh. Okay, silliness is not allowed. That's a pity. Wait, can I drag and... No. Okay, so... To adjust any piece of equipment, basically you have to trash it and uh, pick it back up. Uh, out of your inventory. Does this work? Okay. So that prevents the box from hitting the houses below. Get the bucket on the right into the blue bucket area. Uh, so what do we got? Got a rope. Rope can go through a pulley, through another pulley, well, I don't even have to click these. It just automatically applies itself and unapplies itself. That's really nice. The original game that was a lot like this, which I'm going to say is The Incredible Machine 2, um, really required you to click on every last thing. Uh, and this game does not require nearly as much. You just just automatically activates itself. So these are phaser guns. Um, so we got a pull uh, trigger. And this has to pull a trigger. And then we got a basketball for some reason. Let's stick it way up here just to be fun. Dude, I blew up whatever that was over there. What, what is that? Is that not a candle? I guess that counts as igniting the candle. If that's a candle. That was weird. Turn on the light over here. If 
I remember right, we needed a solar panel to power the light. However, to power the flashlight, we needed the ball to roll over onto the flashlight. For the ball to get there, um, there has to be a, a light uh, powering the solar panel. And for there to be the light powering the solar panel, we need to have a rope pull the light switch. And we'll see how this works uh, forwards. Let's see. This causes the ball to fall, which activates the light, which activates all that, and it turns on this light. Light both double candles. Yeah, I wonder how many original puzzles there are in this uh, collection. Um, also, what's this up here? Let me try hitting it. Oh, that's a flint and steel. Okay, I remember that. Fire up some teapots to make some tea. Okie dokie. But yeah, one thing that's supposed to be a selling point of this game is its uh, ability to integrate with Steam Workshop. So you can uh, design your own puzzles and upload them for other people to agonize over. But I'm just glad to be playing this game again. Um, okay. What's this for? Oh, okay, I get it, maybe. Let's try that. Never mind, I see. This actually belongs down here to activate the dynamite. This is where the original game was a bit finicky too, is that things have to be kind of pixel perfect. Not really, but you can miss things very slightly and have to redo the puzzle. Oops. Yeah, let's... Oh, hey, look. Let's speed up the animation. Just unintentional. That was exciting. Let's make more things go boom. Alright, got a plunger. Uh, let's go. Easy. Easy peasy. Launch the toy rocket, the missile, and the bottle rocket. Okay. So if I remember right, oops, I guess to flip, I either need to use my keyboard somehow, or I just need to make sure that things are oriented right to begin with. But yeah, I'm glad to see um, this game's easier to use than the original. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh, does this... yeah, this is supposed to just hit the flint and steel. There we go. And then all of our rockets have been fired. Fire the cannons. Huh. Alright, what is this contraption? It's a match device. Oh, okay. I remember that part. So we're going to need a pulley, we're going to need a bucket, and we're going to need a rope to tie this match device through the pulley to the bucket. I should probably move this up a bit. And get some momentum, and get our cannons fired. It's beautiful. It really is. Pull all the trapdoor sticks. Okay. Man, this is sure teaching you all the basics of the game. So, basically if there are pulleys, you want to use the pulleys. I don't remember that kind of trapdoor being part of the original game. Wait, what happened here? Some of these trapdoors stopped the balls, some of them didn't. 
Didn't know that was possible. Pop the blue balloon in the middle. Do not pop the other balloons. Okay. Uh, I have a vertical flip. Can I do a vertical flip? No. Why? Oh, okay. That's pretty fascinating. All right, so we're going to need some weights and counterweights, basically. Um, and we need to just anchor the remaining balloon. And there we go. Some amount of time passes, and the game realizes that you popped only the correct one. Oh, uh, wait, what are these scissors used for? I don't remember them. Okay, why do I need the scissors? Oh, okay. This allows the blimp to move. I've never seen a blimp tied by a rope before. Wait. Fine. I guess I need this oriented something like that to cut the rope. There we go. Beautiful. Whew. Activate both steam whistles. Okay. Hey, look, we're getting real puzzles now. Okay, we need an electrical switch. Of course, this needs to be flipped. So that when the ball hits it, that starts the motor fan thing. Um, we're going to need to capture that energy and rotational energy is going to get translated into, oh, I see, I see. I remember this. And that bowling ball falls down here, was it? Um... Oh, hang on. That seems unnecessary. Yeah, let's just play this and see how it plays out. Okay, and I think I had to flip this in the original game for that to work. Oh, I get it. And then the bowling ball is going to activate the bellows, hitting the basketball. And the loose end of the rope is going to activate the steam whistle. There we go. Whew. Light the candle. Okay, so let's turn this up a little bit again. Uh, light the candle. How hard could it be? I'm just going to wager that all the dominoes fall as they should, and that this gets lit. Am I right? Or am I right? Nice! Get the paper lanterns off the screen. Okay, this is something I need to spin as opposed to flipping. Uh, does that not work? That does not work. There's still one unsolved problem here. And that's that what's going to light this lantern. Actually, yeah, let's do it like that. <laughs> uh, the paper itself could get burned. Did not think about that. Uh, yeah, let's just see that in action. Oh, okay, so apparently that was A-OK. -okay. I was just concerned because I see, like, this diagonal line going up here, thinking this is going to catch the... Oh, wait. Wait, how's this work? What's this paper lantern consist of again? 
Can I see this closer up? Because there's a candle, but it's as if there's another candle inside it or something. There we go. Next puzzle. Hot bowl balloons. Uh, yeah, let's just use our anti-gravity pad we have lying about. And our other anti-gravity pad's already down there, and, you know, typical technology you're used to working with on a day-to-day -day basis. Alright, get the ball off the screen. Um, okay, I guess this is used. Oh, and then that's the pinball flipper. It's taking me a little while to recognize some of these sprites. Get all the baseballs into the recycle bins. Wait, which end is the punching end? I guess... Oh, hang on, that's the pool cue. Uh, this is the punching glove. So this, this is gonna knock our baseball into that bin. This pool cue is going to take care of shooting that into the bin, right? No, I got that wrong. And apparently the blue end is the button, not the red end. Bam! Punch glove activates once, and this pool stick activates again. And we got all the balls into the containers, so... Make toast. Okay. Um, oh, I've got to activate this toaster. That's the trick. You can make white toast, brown toast, black toast, and oh, I guess more white toast. Get the cannonball into the cardboard box. So, um, this is a tube of fixed length, so I'm going to use that to fill this gap. We're going to use this as the corner. This is a variable length tube, which we extend. Oh wait, did that just... No, okay. I thought it automatically corrected to be the right length, which would have really impressed me. Oh nice, you can actually see the balls inside the tubes. Set the proper delay of the egg timer to poke the bowling ball and get it off the screen. Okay. Um, uh, oh, right, so I've got to go here, let's say eight seconds. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something. Oh, and I placed it wrong. It does not need to have an eight second delay. Let's try four. Go, go, go. Nice. Those egg timers, well, they do look silly, but. They're also one of the more finicky parts of, from the original game. Um, just because timing things inside contraptions tends to be pretty tricky. Use the part creator to hit the hamster cage and turn on the light. Okay. Oh. Well, ain't that fancy. It's a part creator. Not seen one of those before. Turn on all the lasers. You know, I don't remember if in the original game lasers could actually shoot through pipes. Um, but yeah, we're gonna need an outlet or switch of some sort. Uh, apparently, still need another outlet. And. 
turn them all on, meaning that this has got to be flipped up so it can get hit. And there we go. Inverse lasers are always on unless they're hit by another laser. Uh, I was not paying attention, so the objective must be turn them all off. Uh, hit the sensor with any other laser to turn off the inverse laser. Oh, I see. So this is showing a red laser hitting the green laser to turn it off. Taken to the more annoying parts from the original game and kind of combined it together um, to be something that doesn't take as much space, which is nice. Uh, oh, hang on. I can actually fire these things diagonally? Dang. I like these diagonal lasers. They're gonna uh, make a lot more room. The original game, you could only fire them up, down, left, and right, and that got pretty challenging to design puzzles that way. Turn on both lights, and let the balloon fly off the top of the screen. Use the delay on the laser repeater to let the balloon pass. Okay. Oh! Eh <laughs> Use the delay on the laser repeater. Uh, this looks tricky. I get it. So we got a laser repeater, uh, which I need to configure. I'll just say, just delay until the balloon's off the screen. And then activate. Like so. Next puzzle. Turn on the blender. Hmm. Actually, let me check my volume on this. Um, let's see. I can't tell if it's too quiet. Um, oh, I have to plug it in over here. Oh, that should actually come out fine on the stream, I think. Do things the hard way. All oh, right, because you can't take the blender out of the outlet that's there and plug it into a different outlet. Uh, this time, mix lasers to make colors, just because we can. See, so, yeah, these outlets can be color sensitive. So you see, like, if I aim the green at the blue outlet or the cyan outlet, it's just not going to take. Um, in the same way that you've got a yellow outlet and a red laser. So we have to do something, uh, we have to use color theory, of all things, and say we're going to um, generate a yellow beam. That was funny. Let's move these around a bit. Can get these anywhere near each other. And then turn this around. And that should be good. And that's how you add colors, for those of you who aren't colorblind. Okay, use a mirror to turn the laser. Where is the laser? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, well, this is a splitter. That's nice. So I can use it there. Um, and this part's gonna have to be turned to shoot like so. Easy peasy. Turn on the light bulb. Well, that isn't an easy problem statement. Okay. So what happens with this puzzle as it stands right now? Not a whole lot. I see. Um, now what happens? So there goes the bowling ball, bowling ball hits the switch, switch turns the motor, 
Um, and while that grinds for all eternity, um, the motor needs to be converted from rotary motion into linear motion to pull the uh, to activate the light bulb to pull the chain on the light bulb. Waldorf Remington the Third will only move. <laughs> ah, I see. That's a pretty finicky cat. Look, it's, he sees that there's a fish there, and uh, he needs some motivation for Waldorf. Um, and that's make a little bit more motivation. It's gonna suck for the fish, but... Um, come on, Waldorf. And then he catches the mouse. And it's a circle of life. Help Milton escape from Waldo and get to his mouse hole. Okay. Yeah, Milton needs... A bit of cheese to motivate him, sometimes. He's easily stuck if he doesn't see something worth chasing. Oh, it's too bad that Waldo gave up on chasing um, a good friend, Mouse. I forget the name of the mouse already. Help Tool and Tim and his brother Tom get home safely to their own houses. Okay. Well, you need a ramp. And... Hang on. Can I rotate this? There we go. And you need a wall to say, you're going the wrong way, buddy. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> Steve, the crocodile's hungry. Feed him a mouse. Dang, you keep giving all these animals names. It's like you want them to be relatable or something. Okay, well, does this work? A hamster causes the conveyor belt to convey the mouse at the crocodile. That hamster is one dirty murderer. <laughs> Alright, so. Dozer is like a soft, cuddly trampoline that will eat anything. Feed both dozers. A, oh. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, if they'll eat a bowling ball. My goodness, they'll eat anything. Okay, so I'm just going to assume that if I put a corner pipe here this oh and if I put a corner pipe down here that the game will work its magic somehow and that's why they're called dozers help Tinker cut his leash and get home well there's Tinker uh, how do we help him out okay and then he's going to go down this way, probably chasing the dog food. Um, I don't know. Chasing some more dog food. And whatever this is. I guess that's a bone. That's supposed to motivate him. Alright, let's try changing this up a bit. And he found his way home. If a part has Tim's face on it, that means only Tim can use it. Use the special parts to get the tinkers back home. Special parts. Okay. Well, that's a new concept. Um... A 
guess what all this is telling me is that um, my friend Tim here can use that. Can use whatever this is. Although I can't really tell what that is. Ah, eh, close enough. You'll get it eventually. Just give him time. Maybe. You can do it, Tim. Ah, uh, no. No! Just keep trying. You'll get it. Eventually. There's gotta be a better way. Okay, apparently no. He's caught in a loop. So I have to place this at exactly the right spot for that to work out. Okay, that did not fix the problem. Um, can I put the ball here or something? Is, I mean, something's not right. Oh, this must be some kind of calling whistle. That's the purpose. I couldn't figure out what that was. Uh, actually, I could if I just click, click the question mark. Tracks all dogs in the room, that area. Only Tim can activate it. I get it now. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Next puzzle. Turn both Toolman Tims into zombies. Mwahahaha. Watch as he slowly walks right into him. Yep. Well, that was cool. Zombie Tims, a very fragile creature. Use the laser to stop the zombies from reaching the house. Oh, that sounds cool. Um, that's cool that they introduced new characters in this game. Uh, so, yeah. Eat that, zombies. It's a tower defense game, isn't it? They like brains even more than they like Tim. Okay, we need to get the Tims home safely. So, yeah. Just have to give um, zombies some brains to munch on. Okay, that didn't quite work. What's this? Tim will pick this up. Oh. Tim can use this part. The zombie can't use it. Can use that as zombie bait. All right. So why did this not work, though? Is this not a brain? Oh, he has to be munching on it while Tim walks by. I get it. I get it. Very clever. So. I'm now a puzzle solver, according to Steve. Why not make your own puzzles? Eh, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. Tim's being chased by mountain zombies, something something, get him home safely. Oh, right. So we need to make sure those mountain zombies encounter an obstacle or two and don't just smoothly sail into Tim. There we go. That's cool how the ball can just pick up zombies. Uh, yeah. Use drips from the melting snowballs to get Milton his cheese. Okay. 
Ah, I see. So, uh, drifts from Snowball 1 are activating Switch 1, which causes the other Snowball to melt, and there's the cheese. That wasn't cheesy at all. Okay, Waldo does not like walking. He uses sled to get him and his clone off the right side of the screen. Oh, so we gotta like ferry him off the edge of the screen? Man, what a lazy bum. So that's pretty cool. Tim touches the sled, he will ride on it until it stops, get a Tim into each house. Alright, here's a sled, buddy. Knock yourself out. Hmm. Next. Get the basketball into the box. Okay. So... Got mouse. Um, it's gonna cause that ball to go all the way over this way. Um, oh wow! I can put this at any angle I want. I just want something like that. I think I could be wrong. Well, that works. Nice. Get the bowling ball into the loading zone. Well, bowling ball, I'm sorry, this is the bowling ball. Um, it just does not fit here. There we go. Let's do it. And by do it, I mean forget to do the first part of the process, which is get that soccer ball into the position where it activates the switch that activates the motor. Um, such our bowling ball gets a moving. Okay, we need this to be a wider conveyor belt. And we can do that. There we go. Milton can't remember where his mouse hole is. Use the cheese to help Milton find hope. Nice, so I can right click to duplicate a part. Definitely a huge plus. Uh, just one, that duplicating a part is one of the most convenient things um, that was in the original game. It's good to see that they carried that over into the new game as well. Okay, so we're gonna have a ball falling here. Let's leverage that to get this ball moving. And of course, this is going to be oriented the wrong way. Yeah, thought so. Well, that woke Tim up down there. <laughs> Tom is pretty upset at Tim for crushing his stick house. Help him knock down Tim's dominant... Rooftop Domino House. Okay. Yeah, not a problem. Be glad to oblige. So, we're going to need a conveyor belt there. Um, I guess this is what's going to power it. Come on. Fine, we'll start here and connect to there. Um, now, what's going to activate all of this? What's, oh, I get it, I get it. It's the seesaw here. Um, it's going to be connected through the pulley um, to this trap door. I did not time that correctly. Alright, let me see. Is this some silly behavior that they carried forward into this game? I think they probably carried that forward, where if you... Oh, never mind. Apparently not. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, if the seesaw toggled and then toggled the other way, the rope would pull the second time. Um, apparently my issue is just that I had the conveyor belt in the wrong space. But yeah, now I've got my bowling ball. My belt's still in the wrong space, but I'm a bit closer now. Tim's awesome domino house. It's about to be not so awesome. There we go. Tom and Tim found that fighting doesn't solve anything. Help them work together to launch their rocket. Okay. So I see this is going to try to hit like a ball into that. Um, that's going to power this rocket. Um, oh, that's really nice that it highlights the things that can accept a rope. And see, it's also highlighting the things that can accept a, um, I guess a band or a rubber band or a belt. Belt's the word I was looking for. Right, the canyon's too big. Help Tinker get to the other side safely to be with Tim. Oh, that's cool. So this is gonna ferry Tinker across, is it? Nice. That's some pretty advanced stuff you can do with these parts. Okay, work on your multitasking. Start the blender, pop the jack of the box, and get the soccer ball into the recycle bin. Okay, sure, why not? Um, so, let's just assume that things are hooked up correctly the first time, which they never are. Oh, I see, I need this other gear uh, for the jack of the box. I'll just assume I hooked it all up right. Oh, nice. I thought I was going to have one of those weird rotation things where you have to put the gears in the correct orientation next to each other. Uh, he has to build his house in a dangerous construction zone and see if you can get him home in one piece. I mean, I don't know. What's so dangerous about this zone? Oh, okay, I get it. That's a pulley. Uh, and this... I mean, what's so dangerous about this? <laughs> I take it that's not the official solution. The official solution involves using these anchors down here. I get it. I was wondering how I ended up with an extra part. Tim locked himself out of his sky fortress. I mean, I, I do that all the time, but yeah, have his guard dog open the door for him so he can get home. Okay, well, Tim's got to first call upon his guard dog using the dog whistle. Um, this presumably is going to activate this, 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 and then what? Oh, can I elevate the stick? That did not quite work as intended. Let's try that here. <laughs> and it doesn't come collapsing back on top of him. That's nice. All right, next puzzle. Tim's out from the lab and the Tinker forgot how to turn on the Tasty Tree 5000. Help Tinker turn it on so he can eat. Okay, where do I plug in this thing? I'm gonna have to plug it in and use it somewhere. Okay, well, I'm just gonna assume that this is the right place to plug it in. I'm gonna assume 
this is right. I assume that I need a bowling ball on top of it, because that's just how puzzles work. And I've assumed far too much, and I'm completely wrong. And I guess there's a start over button, which is kind of nice. Um, so this puzzle has more parts than are actually used in the solution. Well, that's a bit tricky. Okay, let's activate that, I guess. Oh, that's it. What about the lasers? How about that red herring? It's time for some amazing cardboard acrobatics. Get the bowling ball inside the cardboard box. Uh, yeah, no, that's going to be pretty amazing. Because the bowling ball's over here, the box is over there. Um, yeah, we're going to need to install the outlet halfway between these. And what else? Get the box moving over here. bowling ball moving and I've done this in a pretty silly fashion because well I mean I have a spare outlet okay the blimp was born to fly cut its anchor so it can be free okay so to get that to work um yeah, we've got to hook up, uh, we've got to open that trap door. To open the trap door, we've got to get some rotational energy from this hamster wheel. Um, and I completely missed the last step, which was um, bowling balls actually moving at a pretty alarming rate. So it just has to roll into the scissors as opposed to rolling on top of them. Sewerman Sam needs to go fix some pipe problems. Get him down to the sewer so he can start working. Okay. What pretty tell is this? A dog toy. A dog toy, you say? Okay. Let's try it, I guess. Maybe. That didn't quite work. I assume he's got to uh, Tim or whoever this guy is, he's got to throw the toy and get the dog's attention. Oh, dog toys are not just for dogs. Dog toys can serve other purposes as well. Like that. Making your puzzles easier. Yeah. Well, I found the tricky way to do it. That works. And so let's go on to the next puzzle. Cut the rope. Holding is cooler. Um, well, there's the rope. We have to insert some scissors somewhere, so let's just say... Uh, or stick them somewhere like there. I will need a rope. Uh, which seemingly is going to use this pulley, and that pulley, and that pulley, and sure, why not? Whee! <laughs> okay, I see they took the original sound from the original game, which is pretty funny. Um, or they took the sound that was from The Incredible Machine 2 and copied that in. It was just too good to leave out. Power boxes stack too nicely. Fire the cannons and knock the boxes down. Okay. Easy peasy. Right? Wait. 
Okay, I see. That's the fuse. This isn't where you'd expect to find a fuse on a cannon, if you were familiar with how cannons and fuses worked. Um, I was expecting to find the fuse actually on top of the barrel. Um, like, over here on top of it. Uh, but no, it's actually at the butt of the barrel. Ooh. Boom. Oh, uh, but that leaves a box behind. Whatever. Help them get revenge by blowing up the cat fort? Okay. That sounds dangerous. Do I really want to be an accomplice to this kind of devious deed? Um, sure, why not? I'm already this far invested. Alright, but what starts this apparatus? Oh, I get it. So this is the only energy in the system, so this, is ha this has to be where we start. I could just get this placed like so. Um, that's gonna punch. And you should use the pool cue to knock that over. And where I'm a bit unclear is how any of this is going to work. I mean, how far is Tim going to fly, right? Oh, okay, okay. I see, so this is... you got to have a pool cue trigger another pool cue. Because their range is not as far in this game as it was in the original. Actually, it is about the same. Um... This has got to be just an incline. Um, and you're just going to have to run with it. Ooh, that hurts. Would not want to be Tim there. Let's try that again. <laughs> that also hurts. Let's try sticking it somewhere in the middle. Sure. What's the official solution, by the way? Boing, boing. Oh, it does not need that uh, seesaw at all. Milton set up a trap for a while, though. It's missing a couple parts. So there's Milton. He's got his cheese. Um, he is going to have to push this ball over. For the rest of this apparatus to activate, I'll we'll have to do something like so. And there we go. A plus. It's time to clean the cannonballs, shoot the cannon into the box so it can get packed up. Okay, that's funny. Um. Okay, so this is going to power everything. Oh, wow, that's one large conveyor belt. Okay. Well, it's even turning the correct direction. Miracle of miracles. Is that an anti-gravity pad right there? Yeah, it is. Okay. That looked slightly familiar. Let's go on to the next one. It's a snow day at the lab. Help Tim turn off the lights so he could play outside. There's Tim. Um, okay, so... Oh, that's nice. I can actually project where is this going to shoot. That's fancy. So we'll go with the overly ridiculous shot here, where I just barely dodge the edge of a platform. Oh. I failed to light the fuse. Fine, and 
we'll stick the scissors up here, way up in the corner. Kaboom. Tim sledding and doesn't see that the oh does not see the bridges out help him across so you can walk off the right side of the screen um just so you know tim things aren't going to be much safer once you exit the right side of the screen just wanted to let you know all right let's try that that and oh so that would close the gap in the bridge but it's just too slow um we'll get to make her lab in a bit eggs in one piece but that's about to change crush the egg oh okay what do we got that's all we got is this over here well that ball is going to have to activate a bellows to turn the fan to do something. That interrupts the laser, that uh, in turn gets the bowling ball moving, and we've crushed the egg. Oh, okay, that works. Tim is trying to walk home, and a big snowball keeps blocking his path. Melt it down so he can throw it away. Okay. Okay, what's powering the system? That's our power. That's all we got. Um, so... Oh, do we have only one belt? Because that doesn't reach. Nice. I can even copy belts. And there we go. Do... Oh, that does melt the snowball. I see. That snowball came out of nowhere, man. And yet the melting snowball does not put out the flame. Up. Oh. Up. Oh. And he gets home. Otherwise, I, if it didn't melt, I assume he'd get flustered and just walk the other way. It's dark and scary in the basement. Turn on the light. Uh, okay. What parts do we have? Okay, we got a switch. Uh, switch is going to activate our soccer ball. Soccer ball in turn is going to hit the pool cue to the eight ball, to the fire starter, to the teapot. The teapot's going to make some steam. That steam is going to turn on the generator which ultimately activates the light. Simple. It's Steve's birthday, but he's having trouble reaching the top of his cake. Help him blow out the candle. Um, oh. Well, yeah, that would blow out a candle. Assuming I can place this here. I can, right? Um, and this is our tea kettle, which needs to be flipped, and there we go. Actually, I wonder, can I cheat? Can I just, like, drop the tea kettle on the ball? Okay, this has to be in bounds, I know, but how much room is there here to cheat? Let's go. Okay, that was a bit too much cheating. Let's try a little bit less cheating. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's try a little bit more. Ah, oh, that's a pity. It's like they tested for this. I mean, what's the point in solving the puzzles if you're not going to cheat? But okay, fine. We'll do it the intended way.
turn on the blender. Okay. Teeter totter is going to hit the switch, but what else needs to be done? Um. So yeah, this is not so obvious. Okay, so this belt's going to connect the conveyor belt to a uh, hamster wheel. Um, we must be using another teeter-totter over here. Actually, can I cheat here too? Can I just like say, I'm going to elevate this and force it to move? Nope. No, no, no. They don't give you enough wiggle room. You have to do things the right way. Um, I don't see what the rest of this is for, so I guess we'll figure it out soon. Oh, it's for nothing. Okay, that works. Gears can change the rotation and speeds of conveyor belts. Use gears to drop three balls into the box. Ah, uh, now we're talking. So we're going to point out that some gears, putting a small gear next to a big gear, um, causes the speed up. Uh, putting a big gear next to a small gear causes it to slow down, and so forth. Uh, I have to use two gears here in order to get the correct degree of rotation. I was not actually intending to copy the gear, but rather copy the belt. And let's try that. Now I have to... Um, I'm going to assume here that I need to use both belts. Um, I'm going to assume I need both of these to connect all that up. And here we go, maybe? Ooh, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. So in turn, what this means is that I've use the big gear in the wrong space. Um, that I need to use a small gear here. Um, and then just hope that things orient as they should. Actually, wait, wait a second. Okay, so we got an open end, open rubber band there. Um, that actually needs to. Come on. There's only some parts I'm able to move so easily. Okay. So use the small gears exclusively over here assume that it's necessary to use the big gear. Now I want to move the gear, not the belt. And I want to move the belt, not the gear. And I want to take this belt and attach it to the top of those gears. Okay. And hook this to the big gear, put the big gear next to the little gear. And hopefully this works. Nice. Montana Tim to swipe the idol from the ancient temple of Waldo. Help him get past the temple security and avoid being closed in. Nah. Tim brought this upon himself. You can deal with the consequences. What does Walden mean? Oh, that's what Walden means. Can't he just... Okay, fine. I guess he can't push that. Um, all right, so let's 
try it this way. Cat versus mouse, the ultimate shawl down. Feed Milton to Waldo. Oh, Milton's like falling into a hole here if we don't do something. So I guess what we're doing is putting him on a conveyor belt. Um, that conveyor belt is gonna be powered by the hamster wheel. Uh, separately, we need to ensure that Waldo's enticed to finding Milton. Um, yeah, sure, put an egg timer in there for fun. And what's the balloon for? Oh, the balloon is to activate uh, the generator. Of course. Yeah. And our timer has to knock over. Oh. Do I have to configure this? I mean, that should work, right? I guess this just needs to be closer. And goodbye, Milton. Uh, or not. Try that once more. And there goes Milton. Tim didn't feed Waldo, and now he's upset. Help him exact revenge by bonking Tim on the head. Okay. Where's Tim? Well, there's Tim. There's Waldo. And our objective is to bonk Tim on the head. Well, that sure looks dangerous. Um, it's probably going to involve all the conveyor belts. Wait, there's no room for a conveyor belt here. That's kind of a problem. So I guess I have to use a glove to get through the wall? I think that should punch through the wall. Um, Use the cage to accelerate this ball to convey the other ball. Uh, I've got to use a quarter pipe to redirect this ball. Um, what am I going to do about this one? What shall I do? I guess we use this to just anchor the ball in place. Alright, it's enough to do something to get the one ball to hit the other. Um, not so sure about what to do there. I assume this does not simplify the problem at all, but let's find out. The balls just like to roll better in tubes. Well, it didn't hurt much. Although that didn't help either. Okay. Oh, I get it. We have to hit the switch on the toaster. Well, what's going to hit that toaster switch? Um, hmm. I appear to be stuck for once. Let's put this pipe here. Let's try that. Okay. 
wait, can you give either of those two balls to... No. Alright. Um... I think there would be a simpler way to do this, eh? Yeah, at least I would. Um. Now, are we sure that uh, I can't condense this any further? I mean, I might need to fit uh, this here. Okay, I can't fit it like that. It does fit like this, but that doesn't make much sense. That might work. Uh, so the point of that was that I might need the toaster up here. Somehow this might, I don't know what, but it might do something. Actually, I don't think I need that. Oh, I can't activate the toaster though. Like I can't put it down here to hit anything. Something would have to hit the switch on the toaster. Um, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Let's try this again, just from its initial state. So I can't move this around at all. Um, is there room for another one of these here somewhere? And can I connect... Okay, this is something you couldn't do in the original game, is um, connect a conveyor belt to another conveyor belt. That's useful. Um, so we have to convey, or we have to get the bowling ball to roll onto this conveyor belt here. Um, from that, Gonna have both balls, or at least one of them, roll down this way, and whomp the other ball to get it moving. The other ball is just sitting on a toaster, and let's try that. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm definitely not on the right path here. I don't see the right path. I mean, yeah, I could extend this. Wait, could I extend this to include the other ball? No, I cannot. That's still forbidden. Um, yeah, I'm not even seeing any cheating ways to approach this either, so... I admit, I am stumped. Um, does this guy have any settings? No, he doesn't. I could flip him, but that's not going to do any good. Um, yeah, that 
it's conveying the wrong direction anyway. Or is it? That might be something to try. It's one heck of a conveyor belt. Yeah, it's a bit impractical and unwieldy in that manner. Um, somehow use this bowling ball to project itself. Oh, that was rolling. That was rolling because it hit the switch. And then if it could hit the switch, can it land back? Could the bowling ball land on top of that? I seriously doubt it, but... Yeah, that did not work. Uh, none of this... Can I try here? I don't want to give up on this, but I'm not seeing options. This is one of the first things that, or not one of the first things, but as I started to run low on options, I seriously considered this and thought, there's no way. That's not how this part works. Um, but you know, maybe. Maybe there's some potential for it to hit the switch? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't think so. Can the rubber band reach this far? Oh! Didn't think that would work. Um, okay. Well, we got something now. Um, ultimately, this is going to have to be the thing that propels the ball. Does this fit in this gap? Oh, it fits. Okay, let's try that. And how is it that this mouse is getting tired? There's no way to like re-trigger that mouse. Um, I'm apparently running low on parts again. So yeah, switching the locations of these parts didn't appear to accomplish anything. And it's not as if I can attach the rubber band, or the belt, or whatever. I can't take that and hook it up to the toaster. Um, the toaster's only got two orientations anyway. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Could elevate that until we hit the switch. 
That I mean, what good's that gonna do? Hey, look! I activated the toaster. Maybe. But yeah. Um. It's not like I can move this uh, conveyor belt around either. It's stuck in position, so I can't just put the mouse or hamster wheel over here. Um. Well, okay, forget the end of the puzzle then. Let's just assume that somehow this is going to work out. Take the glove and put it here. Which is going to ruin the remainder of the puzzle, but at least, uh, at least this part might work. Okay, I need to move this back. But yeah, now there's nothing remaining to... Oh. I see. Nope, nope, nope. I just want a plain old vertical pipe. Okay, that vertical pipe. Um, I'm not sure what good that's going to do me, but. It's a thing. Yeah, that definitely did a thing. Oh. Okay, so here's where moving parts around might matter. So this needs to be flipped horizontally. It's going to get triggered by that ball. There we go. I didn't think that that would work, but it's the only conceivable option at this point. And that knocked out Tim, which was the goal. Tim woke up super lost, helped Tim get home. It's going to be a fair trial now, isn't it? Um, I just hop into the uh, into the pipe of hopes and dreams, and try not to pass out when you fall. Ah! Ah! Huh. Well, he took that quite well. It was like a 50-foot drop or something, but he seemed to make it. He stumbled into the cave of Jack O'Bach. Contraption working again. Pop the jack in the box. Okay. Well, this has got to activate the rocket. Well, you got to activate the rocket somehow, is the point. Maybe this is how you do it. Um, and. Oh. Rotate. And line it up. There we go. And pop goes the weasel. Help him get downhill to his house. Ah, it's important not to put this motor in the way of something. Um, can I put it up here? And then connect uh, the belt like this. Would that work? Bye! Just kidding. I assumed that this was going to be necessary, but I wanted to see it play out first.
there's got to be a puzzle where one Tim steps off the sled and another Tim jumps on it. Uh, snow's on the ground. Tim still hasn't cleaned up from Halloween. Help him get the pumpkin into the park disposal. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Okay, we got a ball. We've got something. Um, what can I attach a rope to? That uh, looks confusing. Okay. What does this do? Okay, and this um, hits the switch, which does what? Activates the counterweight. I get it. And so that's the point of the rope. Is that the weight will pull the sled. Oh, and then that little... That's a disposal. I see. Milton and his cousins want all the cheese, but it's stored away. Free the cheese so they can feast. Okay. Well, to do that, we're going to have to involve Waldo here. Uh, where, where could we use a rope? Is there nowhere I could use a stupid rope? Um, I'm not seeing... I mean, I could hook it up to the dog. Oh, that's all I can do. Okay, fine. Huh. <laughs> Kaboom. Man, they're hungry. Help Tim and Waldo launch their first rocket from their tree fort. Well, this must be the tree fort. Because that looks like something like a tree house. Um... Okay. Oh, I see. Close enough for government work. Uh, where do we put this? What's the point? Oh, I get it, I get it. Gotta tilt this up. Perfect. Two, three, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. All right, next puzzle. Pretty boring day at the sea lab. Pop the balloon for some excitement. All right, so we gotta put the hamster, oh, nice. It automatically aligned that um, into the one space where it would fit. It's really unusual for the game to do that. Um, at least in my experience. I haven't seen the game do anything in remotely that intelligent. Okay, so we're going to plug it in there. Um, use one belt to hook that up. That's going to suck the ball this way. Um, turn that's going to power our tea kettle. Tea kettle's going to power this. This is going to, I don't know, something something's going to happen. Just put this anywhere. And... Let's try it. Oh, I see, and I have to flip this to pop the balloon. It's an interesting visual effect there with um, the background layer overlaying the foreground layer. Yep, and this is going the wrong way.
Well, we've started to see what some of the real puzzles look like. I'll advance on to the next one so we don't have to hear that tea kettle any longer. Um, and we'll take a break. So, again, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got a basic idea of um, what this game was about. And um, maybe we'll continue more with it next time. Alright, see ya.